Today, let's see what to do with excess water with compound fertilizers. What to do with water after water circulation? Should we throw it out of the system into the river or should we use it for other plants? So, flushing the water in a river is never an environmental solution. We can use this water for other plantations. Generally in hydroponic system after circulation for one month, the salt deposits like nutrient density increase and we are not able to recycle this water for plantations. So here we need to discard the whole water from the system. And you can use this water for different plantations. If your farm is for agriculture set up then you can use this water in agriculture plantation as fertilizer water. If you have bay tree plants then you can use this water for them as fertilizer water. But if you have an indoor setup then you can flush this water. Avoid dropping this water into rivers because it contains a large number of fertilizers. And generally, it will be harmful to the river water ecosystem. Instead of dropping it into the river, you can use this water as a fertilizer for other trees. If you are using hydroponic technique and setting up it on farmland, for example, on our farm, we have done another plantation beneath A-frame, and the area which we use for other plantations sun exposure is less in this area but many plants like mint basil cabbage and broccoli are planted in this area and the same water is used for these plants as fertilized water so by this way you can reuse this water in your land area or in traditional farming as a fertilizer learn more interesting stuff about hydroponics with us you can also learn more about setting up your commercially successful hydroponic farm with us. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get upcoming videos on hydroponic growing to become commercially successful in this domain. Also, consider pressing a like button on this video. It will help us understand should we continue making more videos like this or not. See you in the next video with another interesting topic and hidden secrets of hydroponics.